Hey, Mike here. Today we're shucking a drive of the Western Digital Easy Store, and this is the 14 terabyte version, which just came out in September or October. Now, um, these drives typically contain a white label type of drive, not really the fastest at all, probably at 5,400 RPM, and it's useful to put in um, a cheap NAS drive unit or something, a cheap media server. So that's that's basically what I'm going to do here. Now, in order to do this, it helps if you have some spudger tools. But in my case, in my scenario, I'm actually just using some old uh, rebate cards or gift cards. Um, usually a couple of them are a good idea. I have so many of these I don't know what to do with. And these are parts from a previous shucking. So um, not only do you need that, you also need a regular screwdriver, which I presume everybody has. And for this particular unit, I am using a T10H security screw bit doesn't have to have the hole in there. Mine does have the hole in there, but you just need that that star um, T10H. T10. All right, so that's what I'm using. And I know those for sure because I already shucked one of these drives. Now, when I'm shucking one of these drives, I don't really care about the enclosure. Okay, this is why I'm just using just these good old-fashioned regular, um, regular gift cards. And all you're going to do is basically slide these in directly see that it actually slides into the unit like so and then you're just going to pull it apart that's it now if you are if you are going to want to keep the enclosure you're probably going to be want to be a little bit more careful but i i'm not okay so i'm just i'm just going to stick it in and you hear a snap and that's me snapping the the uh the snap together connection in there all right so um you're going to want to do both sides and Basically, once you get them all in, oh, I pulled that, I pushed that one in a little bit too far. Um, you can use a hard spudger tool or even worst case scenario is what you can go ahead and use is, uh, well, you can use a butter knife or you can just use some other uh, screwdriver tool to just pull it apart. And you're going to want to do that with a harder tool. The soft tool is just to get in there so that you can stick in a tool to pry it open. Okay. Now, this will potentially break the plastic tabs in there and again i don't really care because i just want the hard drive the valuable drive inside and i'm not going to reuse the enclosure but inside you'll find just basically an enclosure that holds the hard drive and this interface that you see here for the power and also for the usb3 so this is a usb3 adapter and this plugs directly into the hard drive like so but i'll show you that in a second um, after i go ahead and get this open so i'm just using this but um from a Leatherman, see that? So once I get that in there, then I just stick it in there and twist, and then that opens up. And on this side, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just pry that open. Don't worry, it does not damage the drive at all. And you're gonna to wanna to be careful uh, when you're doing this to hold it and make sure it doesn't fly off the table. If you're, not, if you're doing this for the first time, it's probably a good idea to just do it on the ground. All right, so now that you have this open, uh, you can just pull even even further. I think you can also just slide it out. Yep, there you go. So it'll slide right out. So there you have it. Okay. So if you do it okay, um, well, actually, I, I just, like I told you, I don't really care about the uh, the tabs. It'll look like this. It's Western Digital 14. And in this case, I'm just going to push down a little bit here and slide it right out. And you will see this is the enclosure here. This is the case. Well, this is the actual case that holds in place. And then we got these uh, soft shock absorbers on the side. You can take those right out like so. And then uh, this, is, this is where you get the regular screwdriver to unscrew that piece. So I will just take a regular screwdriver here, head and go ahead and remove this piece. And that just removes that interface board that I, I told you about. They made this very efficient in terms of the board design. And then this is just uh, this is just in, in this spot here, just to hold the, the LED uh, light transmission all the way to the other side. So then I just slide upwards and out, and there's the interface. And then over here, we have these four screws, and this is where you need that regular that security bit. But uh, granted, even if you don't have one, you can even just use pliers and turn it and open it. So don't feel like, oh, I can't do this until I get that bit. 
Um, I'm pretty sure that I could go ahead and do this, clamp it on and turn it off. See that? Clamped it, turned it right off. But if you want to get the actual bit itself, the one that worked for me is the security. Um, this is the security focus one, T10H. Okay, so I'm just going to stick it, stick it in there and remove it. Uh, pretty user friendly. Okay, so after you do that, then you have a full on hard drive. You can go and stick and do whatever else you want with it, including installing it into a computer system. And of course, in my case, of course, I'm going to put it in a um, external NAS unit by Synology. So that's that. So with these two combined, just with a dual drive unit in RAID 0 format, I'm going to have a whopping 28 terabytes of space. And these were around $200. Um, I think over the holidays. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.